Today we're going to find out how you can repair broken apps in Windows 10 and Windows 11. Stick around, all the details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, we're going to look today at how you can fix broken Windows 10 and Windows 11 apps. These apps are the apps here on the start menu. They're the new style apps like this one, for instance, here, the Outlook app. Say if that was broken, then all we need to do is just move our mouse over it, click on the right mouse button and then go down to app settings. Now, if you haven't got app settings, then this is not an official Windows app. This is a program and we're going to show you in another video how you can possibly repair these programs. So say, for instance, if I go to Firefox there and right click, there is no option there to go into app settings. That's because this version of Firefox was installed from the web and not installed from the Microsoft App Store or pre-installed with our version of Windows. So, OK, I'm going to go back to the Outlook app. I've right clicked on it. I go into app settings just by clicking on the left mouse button with my mouse over app settings. And then we've got a few options in here. So if your app is playing up, if it's working, but it's not working properly, then it might be an idea under background apps permissions to make sure that you've got whatever is recommended in there. So as you can see for Outlook, power optimized is recommended. So make sure that is selected. If you scroll down, then the next thing to try is to try terminating the app. So click on terminate there and then go back, close this down and try and then open up the app and see if it opens. This might just be a really simple fix. The next thing to try and something that a lot of people overlook is to restart the computer, not shut it down, but restart it. This is very important. So click on the start button, click on the power logo and click on restart. Do not click shut down. Don't click sleep. Actually click restart. Let your computer restart. There is a difference. When you click restart, it actually restarts all the services, all the drivers, all the background apps and in many cases can miraculously fix a non-working app or program. This would always be a good thing to try if Terminate doesn't work. So the next thing to try is if that still doesn't work, then click on the start button, right click on the app, click on app settings again, that's a left click. And let's scroll down a bit further and we've got an option here to repair the app. So it says if this app isn't working correctly, we can try and repair it. The app's data won't be affected. So hopefully all the settings will remain in place. So click on repair. OK, that blue line will go all the way to the right and then you'll get a tick just to the right of repair, as you can see just there. Come out of this and try and then open the app just as you normally would. OK. Hopefully it'll open, but if it doesn't, again, right click on it and then left click app settings, scroll all the way down to reset. So this next one, if we click reset, it says that it will actually delete all the apps data. So anything that you've got saved in that app, all the settings will be deleted and you'll have to reset it back up again from scratch. So click on reset and there's a warning here. It says this will permanently delete the apps data on this device, including your preferences and signing details. So in most cases, it will just be a matter of signing in again and usually it will work. So make sure that you've got your username and password if that's the case. So click on if you're happy with that, click on the second reset. And again, the blue line will go up to the right. And once it's reset, a tick will appear just to the right of reset. Close this down and then try going into the app again, just as you normally would. Now, if it still doesn't work, then again, right click on the app. And then the next option really is to uninstall the app. So move your mouse over uninstall, left click once, 
left click uninstall again there and let the app uninstall. And now to get the app back, in most cases, you should be able to go to the Microsoft Store, which is this little icon just here, and then download the app again. Once you've got into the Microsoft Store, click in Search Apps, Games, Movies and More just at the top there and then just type the name of the app. So and then find the app in this list here. Left click once on it. And then left click get. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long. You might find like mine at times it might stick and might look like it's not doing anything, but just be patient with it. This can be quite normal. And hopefully after a few seconds, it will start to download as mine is. But as you can see, it started to download, but it seems to have stopped. But again, like I say, this is quite normal. Hopefully in the next few seconds, it'll get a lick on and it'll carry on downloading, but just be patient with it. There you go, it's now downloading. And then the next part of it is now gonna be installing. And once it's installed, then you'll see open there. And hopefully at that point, you can click on open, the app will open. Now, unfortunately, you are gonna to have to set it up again, but at least the app is now working. Now, if it's still not working for you, then please try and contact the developer of the app for more assistance. So there you go, that guide showed you how to fix apps in Windows 10 and Windows 11. I hope this guide helped and if it did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or if you can't do that, have a look in the description down below. Down there is a link to my Amazon shop, also links to VPNs, Fire TV sticks, Fire TV cubes, and Fire Stick accessories. Buying, subscribing, and donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching and bringing you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're gonna find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see any videos that you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines. If you want to check me out on X, formerly known as Twitter, then I'm at CWTEK. Also, check out my website. It's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks for watching and speak to you again soon. Whilst you're here, don't forget to have a look around. If you want to get to the front page of my YouTube channel in any browser, go to youtube.com forward slash Chris R. Waite. That's youtube.com forward slash Chris R. Waite. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button from that front page or when you're looking at any of my videos, hit that subscribe button just beside my channel name. Also, please, if you do like the video, hit that like button. And if you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like it, hit that share button and share it on your social media timelines. Subscribing, liking, and sharing really does help support this channel. It enables me to spend more time researching and bringing you these great videos. Also, please don't forget to check me out on X, that's x.com forward slash CW Tech, where you can find out about all my latest video releases on any platform.